In this video, we're going to take a look at aligning vectors and how you can do this within the software. So let's say I have these two vectors here. The circle vector and the rectangle vector, I want them both to be in the middle of this model. And that's very easy to do. If you select the vector drop down and then come down to align and you'll see all of these options to align vectors. Now at the moment, they're all grayed out. The reason being is that I haven't got a vector selected. So if I select the circle and then go to vector and align, now because I only have one selected, I only have one option available, which is center in the model, down the bottom here. Now you'll notice next to that, it actually tells you the shortcut key, which is F9, which is something that I tend to use all of the time. It saves you having to go to that drop down menu. Just press F9 on the keyboard and it will put something in the center of the model. So if I select center in model, it places that circle in the center of the model. If I select the rectangle, press F9, it places it in the center of the model. So now, because I know that that is in the center and that is in the center, that the circle is in the center of the rectangle. Now, let's undo that. Let's say that I didn't want to move the rectangle to the center of the model, but I only wanted to move the circle and I wanted to place it in the center of the rectangle. Now, what I can do for that is use the center option that I have there in the bottom. So that's the one above centering model. Now to do this, what you need to do is select the object that you'd like to move first of all, and then shift select where you would like to move it to. So this becomes the boundary and this is what's going to be moved. So if I go to vector drop down and align, you can see all of these options and they're available to me. So if I select center, it moves it to the center. Okay. If I undo that and select it the other way, you'll see what happens. So if I select that one and then that one, what this will do, it will move the rectangle. So if I go to align and then center, that moves the rectangle. So it's important that you select correctly. So what you need to do is select the one that you'd like to move first of all, okay? And then secondly, the one that you would like to move it to or align it to. So if I select that again, select the drop down, align. Now let's align it to the bottom. So what this has done, it's just moved it up. So it's touching the bottom of the rectangle. Let's do it again and let's do it vertical center. So it's moved it in the center, in vertically. Let's do it again. Let's do top. So this is going to touch the top of the rectangle. Again, let's do right. So it's going to put it in that far right hand corner now. You can do horizontal center like so, and then You've also got left, so it does it in the left-hand center, okay? If you wanted it to be in this corner, you just do the left and then you do it so it's at the bottom. So that's how you align certain vectors. And this can be done with groups of vectors also.